Uncle Ma is the most powerful gang leader in Busan. His success doesn't come from a strong aura or an indifferent demeanor, but from his real combat abilities. For Uncle Ma, taking on 10 opponents at once is just a walk in the park. Besides his strength, having principles is also the reason why he commands respect. During this gang negotiation, a younger member spoke too much and offended the leader of the opposing faction, Old Wong. Actions speak louder than words. Confronting the arrogant and conceited individual, Uncle Ma showed through actions that strength is not just about boasting. Uncle Ma delivered a powerful blow to the young member. Then, he called over the opposing faction's member, broke his front teeth barehanded, and placed them in strong alcohol for Old Wong to drink. Even the boss, Old Wong, was so frightened by Uncle Ma's ruthless tactics that he dared not speak and had no choice but to drink the concoction of teeth and alcohol in front of Uncle Ma. After settling this messy situation, Uncle Ma prepared to drive home and enjoy a peaceful ride. A serial killer collided with the car of the mafia boss, Uncle Ma, on a rainy night. Uncle Ma got out of the car to inspect the situation, and the killer took advantage of his inattention to stab him twice. However, it seemed that the killer had picked the wrong target this time. Uncle Ma, who had been stabbed twice, was as strong as a wild beast. He quickly fought back and knocked the killer to the ground. The killer tried to continue the attack after getting up, but was soon knocked down again by Uncle Ma. In the struggle, the killer was stabbed back by Uncle Ma. Realizing he was no match, the killer escaped to his car. After knocking Uncle Ma unconscious with the car, he hastily fled the scene. In a desolate place, the killer stopped the car, disinfected his wounds, and proceeded to stitch them up with a stapler. Frustrated that he hadn't successfully killed anyone, he felt dejected. At this moment, the sound of barking dogs caught his attention. He went to a dog yard, intending to kill a dog to ease his mood, but then he heard the voice of the old man guarding the dog yard. A female student waited for the bus in the rain, and Uncle Ma, upon seeing this, gave his umbrella to the girl. It turned out that Uncle Ma, who looked fierce on the outside, also had a kind side. During dinner, a news report caught Uncle Ma's attention. A female student had been killed on this rainy night. Upon seeing the familiar large umbrella, Uncle Ma stood up in anger. The entire city mobilized, with both the gangs and the detectives searching for clues to the murderer. The crime had taken place in less than two hours, and they quickly identified the suspect's hideout. Uncle Ma soon found traces of this demon in a karaoke room. After knocking out the murderer, Uncle Ma prepared to take matters into his own hands, considering that this scoundrel not only killed so many innocent people but also took the life of his brother. However, the murderer showed no fear of death and even laughed arrogantly. Just as Uncle Ma was about to end the murder, Officer A. Tai suddenly drove in, knocking Uncle Ma out. Using the location of Uncle Ma's phone, a Tai found them. Subsequently, a Tai brought the murderer to court.